worship him. Linderebosi ke diandara se. Maya nderebosi. Inderekani alaraba. Oya la 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 bosi me. Ikanderebosi ataya. Malerere.
Welcome everybody here today in the name of Jesus. We are already live, so we're not going to go through introductions, but we do that after the live service. But I want everyone to be very comfortable. You are in the right place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody on your side I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. Tell them I will hear the voice of God. I will be built up. I will be encouraged. I will be refreshed. I will be anointed. I will be delivered. I will be healed. I will not live here the same way I came. Somebody say, my time has come. Somebody say, our season has come. Declare with your mouth, I'm unstoppable. I am unstoppable. We are unstoppable. If you believe it, shout, yes! Take your seat for a few minutes. Choir, thank you so much. Musicians, thank you so much. Stay connected. Praise God. We are so much blessed today that this place is filled up with array of angels. Amen. <laughs> array of what? My God. We have Bishop Joseph here. We have Bishop Okaro here. Joy Okaro. We have Bishop... Uh, Jonathan from Abuja, Nigeria. Hallelujah. We have uh, Prophetess Gina here. We have Reverend Thomas. Ah, yeah, bah, ah, yeah. The devil is in trouble. Ah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. We have Reverend Dr. Frank G29 original. <laughs> Hallelujah. G29 original. Only me know that one. Praise God. And also he has a friend. What's the name of your friend? Honorable Frank. All the way from Abuja. Is he one of our parliamentarians? Because from that side, when you get honorable, they carry a lot of honorables. <laughs> Praise God. Honorable, you are welcome. We, we celebrate your coming. All the way from Abuja. I told you people. Tell somebody, say to him, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome Bishop Joseph to come quickly. Take five minutes. Greet this church as you like. You are live. People are watching you all over the world. Praise God. Let's give him a clap of him. Let's give him a clap of him. Let's give Yeah. Let's give him a clap of him. Let's give him a clap of him, church. We give God thanks. Come on, let's put a hand together for the Lord. I give honor to the Spirit of God and also to our spiritual parents that we are here today by God's grace just to be into this beautiful house. I want to greet every one of you, every man and woman of God. God bless you. 
As I got up this morning, the Lord puts on my heart, and I'm speaking to each and every one of us, what he has done on Calvary. Calvary was an assurance. Calvary was, uh, I would say, is, uh, our inheritance. We can assure that the work on Calvary that God has done, you can count on it. Yes. You can count on it. It was our victory, but we, some of us do not understand what happened. There was a, a translated, we've been translated, and we've been transformed. In the, book of, in the book of Job 14, it talks about a man that is born of a woman. It's only for a season. But the book uh, in, in 1 Corinthians 1.15, it talks about Jesus being the first fruits of the dead. And we are the seed of Jesus from the incorruptible. We, we are today are from that seed of Christ. And what Christ has done, he has made us into a new creation. I don't think you understand this. You are not of the flesh, but you are born of the spirit. You have access to the authority and to the power of God. But you have to know your identity and you have to know who you are. Jesus says, I have kept my father's commandment. So I abide in him. And if you are born of the spirit, you must abide in him. And how you abide in him? By following his father's, following his commandment. What was the commandment? You love one another. You cannot abide if you do not love. Because God is spirit. And because you now are not born connected with the flesh. He that's born of the flesh is temporary for a season. But of the spirit you are for eternity. Says I am for eternity. Say that I am equipped. Everything that God Christ has by being born of the spirit you have access. Because as the father is so is he. And as he is so are we. Because we are of the spirit. You are a new identity. You are a new creation. You have to know who you are. And the problem with us in the church is because we do not know our identity. I come to tell somebody today, know who you are. You are not born of the flesh, but you are born again of incorruptible. You are born again of the word of Christ. I come to say, God bless you. Know who you are. Learn to love. Because without love, you are not of God. Learn to forgive. Because without that, you are not of God. Jesus says, I I abide in my father because I obey his commandments. Let us learn to love one another so we can abide in him. For without him, you cannot do nothing. God bless you. Let's give him a clap of it. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Praise God. Let's welcome Bishop Okaro, Joy Okaro. Come and say something to the church. Hallelujah. Somebody help her. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Just my to someone say you are just the best. You are the best. You are the best. Hallelujah. You are the best because you are the image of God. You are the best because Jesus has bought us. And I'm proud to be in this family. Aren't you proud to be in this family? Hallelujah. That's the best place to be. And we are the very best. I'm Joy O'Carroll from just Plateau State, Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. And um, I'm privileged to be home. This is home. A refreshing place. Amen. I visited my daughter in Coventry. I've been there assisting. And um, thank God for daddy. Thank God for you. And here I am in London to stay some couple of days before I go back. Amen. And all I just want to share with us this morning is to say, don't trade anything for God. Amen. 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 The pressure is high, but God is the only one who got your back, who you can count on. Amen. 
outside him, you are nothing. You know, in Genesis chapter 37, verse 15, a storyline about Joseph. The Bible said, a certain man found him wandering. Sometimes in life, we can wonder. Sometimes you don't even know what you're doing. How many of us have been there? Yeah, our life has been a wonder. How do you know what you're supposed to do? Hallelujah. So we are not alone, but the beautiful thing is, God is always with you. God got your back. God has not forgotten you. And the storyline of Joseph, the Bible will tell us, and God was with Joseph. So in that time, point in time, I'm sure he didn't have anything figured out. The Bible said he was wandering. And a man found him wandering and said, what are you looking for? That particular text blew my mind. And I just want to share with us this morning, I don't know, you may be in state that you're wondering, you don't know the next line of action, you don't understand, but God is bringing someone your way. God is bringing answer. God is bringing solution. God is chatting your cause. God is orchestrating your life. God is putting things in form and giving it shape. Hallelujah. And in my heart of heart, I was like, I'm thinking aloud. Would Joseph have fulfilled his purpose if that man didn't show up? He was sent on an error. So if you have time, just go back and read it. Genesis chapter 37. Go and find out. And it was in that journey, the brother saw him because he was looking for them. A certain man that have no name. Man from nowhere. How can, I mean, if you see this scenario, you didn't meet him to ask. He asks you, what are you looking for? And so the Lord will send help to us in Jesus' name. He will come true for us. He will be so personal that we can vividly say, if it has not been the Lord, I have seen him in Israel. And one more time, don't trade him for anything. The journey you may not understand, but he's by you, he's with you, he's for you, and all will work out for good to his glory and honor. So that when your story will be read, people will know that there is God in heaven that controls the affairs of men, that can take nobody and bring every dream and purpose he has set Everything coming to pass. So shall it be for all of us. Can you stand to your feet and just give Holy Ghost a hug? Just say, God, one more time, you will be my God. Just stand to your feet. Just personally make a recommitment. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're going through. But just say, God, I'm glad you know me by name. I'm glad I belong to you. I'm glad you made me your own image. I'm glad you are mindful of me. My days are detailed in your palms. Every moment, every moment, he's mindful of you. Can you make that prayer? Just make a commitment one more time. Say, God, just to you. I may not be all that, but show me mercy. I don't want to wander away in the path of life. I don't want to waste away. I don't want to waste my moment. Let your help come. Let your direction come. Let me be aware of you. Let me fear you. Let me reference you. Be my best and my number one. My indispensable friend. Thank you, Father. Father, this is our commitment as a family. We have gathered before you. One more time, we trust our lives into your hands. We know you are able. We ask in the name of Jesus that your purpose for our lives individually will come to pass. In every wandering season, let there be direction. Let there be your presence. Be more real to us than ever. And may we celebrate and appreciate you. For you remain the best God. So shall it be. And let the saints say, Amen. You can do better. Give the Lord a clap offering. You can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Let's give God glory and honor and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Somebody say, we need more. Go say, we need more. We need more. We need. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. We have Prophetess Gina here. 
Prophet, come and say something to the church quickly. Let's give a clap offering, please. Praise. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. My God, my God, my God. Amen. I just want to say, uh, Jesus, good morning to all of us. Uh, Dad, I honor you. Mom, I honor you. All the bishops, my bishop, my husband, Reverend T, and the family of God. I'm just excited for the next phase of this ministry. The Lord showed me Dad's oldest daughter was pastoring a church. And the grace of God had come upon you. What God wants to do with you is just to yield yourself before him. I saw you guys pastoring a branch of this church. The youngest daughter has got the spirit of Joseph upon her. And I saw that there was a prophetic grace that God has put on her. And she was a prophetess in the marketplace, in the business arena. And I saw that the Lord gave her a lot of great wealth. And even she began to mentor women in business. And I saw that God positioned you in such a way that you become a woman of influence. The Lord said you might be the younger, but I've called you to be a Joseph. Because what I see, you will mentor people. I saw people of influence around you. And the Lord said, even in this season, I will remember you. The Lord said, forget the former things. Behold, I do a new thing. Hallelujah. I saw a wedding regarding you, my sister. I saw a wedding regarding you when you were worshiping. And the Lord showed me the bishop who came from Abuja. He said, the mantle of Benson Idahusa is upon you. But the Lord saying, even greater things shall you do. Because God showed me the nation of Senegal. The Lord said, even I have put the heart of, you know, the kings in you. And I saw you finding favor with French speaking countries in Africa. And to Mam Iwanacho, the Lord said, this is your birthing season. When Zion had traveled, it brought forth a child. And I saw a move of God in this church, Dad. The Lord was reminding me Acts of Apostles 2, how the Lord had empowered the church. And I want to encourage you, we are going to another level because what I see is nations. What I see is nations. God equipped us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God poured his anointing once more. God brought divine order. Everyone was running with their mantle and we were bringing souls. We were bringing souls up. And the Lord said, I will quicken you in this season. I will refresh you in this season. I will revive you in this season. Mom, it's time to run with your mantle. My brothers and sisters, it's time to run with your mantle. The work is not just for dad. God is saying you have to rise up to the next level because what he's about to do will amaze you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your ministry will be big, my sister, my brother, even the entrepreneur in you. The Lord said you will succeed. It is his doing that the two of you are together. And I see the two of you having many souls. You're going to have a multinational church. Glory to God. Oh, The Lord said your works of labor will not be in vain because there is a new season coming in UK World Evangelism Trust. And the Lord was reminding me in Revelation about the church of Philadelphia. That's the last thing I'll say to you. And to the angel, divine message of the church in Philadelphia, right? These are the words of the Holy One, the True One. He wears the key to the house of David. He who opens and no one will be able to shut. And he who shuts and no one opens. I know your deeds. See, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. For you have little power and have kept my word and have not renounced or denied my name. Take note, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews and are not but lie. I will make them to come and bow down at your feet and I will make them know without any doubt that I have loved you. Because you have kept the word of my endurance, my commandment to persevere, I will keep you safe from the hour of trial, that hour which is about to come onto the whole inhabitants of the world to test those who live on the earth. I am coming quickly. Hold tight what you have so that no one will take your crown by leading you to renounce your faith. 
He who overcomes the world through believing that Jesus is the Son of God, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. He will most certainly never be put out of it. And I will write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which descends out of heaven from my God and my new name. He who has an ear, UK, UK World Evangelism Trust, let him hear and heed what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thank you, Dad. God bless you. Somebody shout, we want more, we want more, we want more, we want. Hallelujah. Help me and say to somebody, say your time has come. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to welcome one of my sons to take some time and say one or two things to us. I tell him we are in your diocese. It's Reverend Thomas. Hallelujah. Let's welcome Reverend Thomas. He is in this diocese with us of Lusham. Lusham, Lusham, Lusham. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my bishop. Good morning, mom. Good morning, saints of God. I just want to speak to you young people this morning. I want to speak to you young people. We think we adults have trouble. But I tell you, our young people have more trouble than we have. I want to say to you this morning, you bypassed the prison this morning. You bypassed the hospital this morning. You bypassed the morgue this morning. You bypassed the drug dealer's house this morning. But let me tell you, the only reason you bypass it, because God has shut every door. You're not here this morning by accident, but by divine appointment. The future for young people looks very bleak. But the future for the child of God is very bright. So the choices you make is very important. As our sister said, the choice you need to make right now is the choice to serve God. Notice many of you when you sat in university or sat at college, when you did an exam, when your question is wrong, they put an X against it. And when it was right, they put a tick. When we go to the government ballot box and election day, you put an X instead of a tick. So make sure you put a tick against your lifestyle right now. Don't allow the world, your Tic Tac, your WhatsApp, whatever, don't allow them to be your driving force. What should be your driving force is the things of God. Everything else will fail, but the one thing that will stay with you is the choice you make for God. And let me tell you, as young people, the world has changed. And the world is keep changing. The world is after you. The battlefield is in your mind. The battlefield is to stop you from choosing the things of God. The world has brought confusion. You're a man, next minute, no, you're not a man, you're a girl. No, you're not a girl, you're in between. Make a choice. The choice is, Jesus Christ should always be the number one choice. Regardless of what people say or what they call you. If all that you have is God and God that you are all you have, you have everything. Make the choice to always stand up for God. I pray, especially for young people, you won't allow peer group pressures to push you away from God. God will send men and women in your life. They're fantastic, they're wonderful, but their role is to keep you where God is. Some of you are going through the fire right now. Stay there. Because the fire, just like gold, if you want to find out what gold is, it must go through a furnace. It must go through the process until you get pure gold. You stay in the fire. Don't choose the easy option. And I pray God will remove every wrong friendship anything that will take you away from God's presence I pray 
every word that's been spoken over your life will come to truth it will come to fruition you will not miss the mark you will not miss the step you will be like an arrow and when he fires you you will hit the target I pray for you as young people you will be the next shaker you will be the influence you will be the one people look to I pray in the name of Jesus Christ you will stand your watch as a good soldier make the choice it's Jesus or no Jesus but without Jesus there is no heaven without Jesus there is no life I pray you will choose the good life and that is in Christ Jesus young people stand up for God stand up for God whatever people say to you make sure you stand apart if you stand alone you're not alone God is standing with you always choose to stand with God and for you young brothers and young sisters I pray God will send you a soulmate I pray God will pick a fruit from his garden and bring you the right person in your life the right friendship you are the next generation we are on our way out we have a long life but you are the guys we're going to pass the baton on to and looking at some of you the church is in a safe place in your hands. May God continue to bless you and watch over you. May you stay faithful, faithful to God. And at the end of the day, he will say, well done, good and faithful servant. God bless you all. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Lift your hand and worship the Lord. Give him praise for what he's doing. Give God glory and honor for what he's doing. Praise him for what he's doing. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Say to him, it is no longer I that live it, but Christ, Christ live it in me. Oh, it is no longer I that live it, but Christ, Christ live it.
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we must you have to flee. Hallelujah. When we call in the name of Jesus, tell me who has the power to oppose. Is fire in this house. Yes. Anything can happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is going to touch someone today Amen. in a very unique way. Amen. Those watching us on the Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are, God is with you. Amen. Something is happening. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are delighted to have a servant of God all the way from Abuja, Bishop Jonathan. Ugende. Bishop, we welcome you to bring the word of God to the people of God. Please, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together and welcome him. Thank you, Jesus. You can do better. You can do better. Jesus is the Lord. You can do a lot, a lot, a lot better. If you are clapping for him, you can do better. Jesus is the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So lift up your hands to heaven and let's, let's him that chorus is no longer I that live it. Jesus, the Son of God, live it to me. Just, just echo it back to him. That is who you are. Jesus, live it in you. Just open your mouth and appreciate this Jesus. He is in every one of us. He is one Jesus and yet is in every heart. In a mission this morning, Lenka Lopro Zenkan taught us. Just bless his name. Every prophetic word I came forth earlier is very true, is very strong, is very current. Father, we bless your name. Zenkan Talabo Zenda, just bless his name. Zingandabo Shanda. He is changing things. He is turning around things for you. For you. Things will never be the same again. Things will never be the same. He is changing your story. And that is why he brought you here this morning. He is changing your story. Linganda Poshanda. That devil is a liar that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus that lives in you, we manifest to you to give you abundant life. Link a life to the full. Life full of meaning. Life glorious. Life very great. Life magnificent. That is the Jesus that we serve. Linger say, come unto me, ye that are labor and are heavy laden. He say, come unto me, I will give you rest. The time of toiling is over. The time of toiling and toiling and laboring is over. I see favor. I see favor 
at work in your life. That is what I see this morning. I see favor because favor is superior to labor. I see favor at work. I see the hand of favor upon your life, upon your assignment. I see favor at work. I see all the colors of favor being displayed. I see all the signs of favor at work in your home. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We honor you this morning. I see restore. The Lord said, I will restore to you. I will restore to you all the years, many years, many years of suffering, many years of mockery, many years of secret pains. The Lord says, I will restore back to you. The Lord says in the place of shame, he will give you double. I see double portion come to you, come to you, and to you, and to you. That thing that God is not aware, he said, I will restore all the years, all the years of pain, all the years of shame, all the years of setback, always going back, back, back. And God is going to give you new wish. He's going to give you wings. So you can fly. And receive in the name of Jesus. Receive and recover. Receive, receive, receive. It's given to you now. I agree that when the ring receive it. Receive that new lifting. Receive your proper status. Receive it right now. Enough of mockery. Enough of mockery. Enough of pain. Dear Father, we bless your name this morning. Every spirit that places setback on your life, I crush in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of setback upon your life and work is destroyed now. Is destroyed now. Is destroyed now. I command that every spirit of setback, that spirit of small, that spirit of little, that spirit of few. I destroy in the name of Jesus. I set upon you new wings. I set upon you new wings. You will begin to fly. You will overtake them. You will arrive on time. If you believe, shout amen. Lift up your hand and shout the loudest, Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please, you might be seated. I want to, in the next 35 minutes or 30 minutes, I want to talk about prophetic assistance for a change of story. We are going to read Deuteronomy chapter 21. And someone described, someone called Deuteronomy, he called it Nigeria, he said, Dethrone enemy. <laughs> Deuteronomy, Dethrone enemy. Come on, say amen. amen. Dethrone enemy, chapter 21, read for me from the congregation, verse 5. Deuteronomy 21, 5. Yes. Then the priest, the son of Levi, shall come near. Then the priest, the son of Levi, shall come near. For the Lord your God has chosen them to minister to him 
and to bless in the name of the Lord. By their word, every controversy and every assault shall be settled. Praise the Lord. By our word, we that have come near to the Lord, those that God will confirm their word to the people are people that have always been near to him. He said he chose them that they might be with him. That they might be with him. When they are with him, they can now bless. When they are with him, they can now bless. I came here this morning to bless you. Every iota of disgrace and dryness when nothing is working at the marketplace and release blessing upon you now. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father's blessing receive in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you lay hands upon from this day shall begin to prosper. Your family shall begin to prosper. Your church shall begin to prosper. Lift up your hand and say amen. amen. And they shall come near. For them God has given the power to bless. To bless. So that any curse, any silent curse that was working against you, unknown curse, because we don't see curses. We only see their effect. We see, we see someone under a curse and nothing is working and he doesn't know why. And he has come to a blessed country and nothing is working for him. Or he has come, he has been raised on a blessed, prosperous family and nothing is working for him. Or he is in a traveling ministry like this one and for years and nothing is working for him. That is the evidence that there is a curse. But wherever there is a curse over your life, be rooted, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe, say amen. amen. Bible says he had chosen the priests so that by their words, every controversy, by their words, every controversy and every assault shall be struck. So every assault, every disgrace, whatsoever that brings you shame, that brings you tears, and you always are crying, but you put up a good face, you want to look like everybody, but down deep inside of you you are not the you that you want to be so i command that every assault every disgrace that is haunting you be uprooted right now i said be uprooted right now if you believe say amen, amen. prophetic prophetic assistance for the change of story there's a testimony in the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 7 and 8. Bible said, There is hope of a tree when it's cut down, it's sharp out again. There is hope of a tree when it is cut down. And, and this tree, you know, we're all trees of righteousness we are told here that this tree was planted with a lot of hopes and expectations and this tree and that is you began to grow in the middle of your community began to grow in the middle of your family and you were born to be a space setter you were born to be a savior you were born to be a supplier of good things to your family, to the church, and to your generation.
but somehow, somehow, it's like you were cut down. This tree grew up and began to produce branches. Branches. We have a church in Nigeria. We have more than 50 branches. And uh, branches are growing and springing up. So there is how a church that was meant to cover the whole nations of the earth and yet could be cut down. And the branches are cut down. And the shops that he opened are cut down. And the family children that he raised, spiritual children, biological children, associates that he has raised that should stand with him to support him are cut down. That's what happened to this tree. Bible says that there is hope of a tree when it's cut down. Those beautiful branches, those beautiful fruits that was to supply, to supply food to the nations of the world, all the fruits are gone. Wow. All the fruits are gone. All the beautiful flowers look so beautiful last year. Now you come with all the flowers are gone. All the branches are gone. The tree, all the all the beasts and animals that used to sit under his beautiful shade, he provided the shade gone. This tree is looking very ordinary and looking very lonely. It's alone. The branches are gone. Who has done this to this tree? Who has done such a thing? And worst of all, we are told that even the roots that he that used to supply water. This tree is getting water getting food, getting support from very far. And support and supporters are always coming. Only suddenly the roots are all died. The roots are cut off. And now you see the branches are gone, the leaves are gone, the flowers are gone, and now the roots are gone. I am here to announce to you there is hope for you. Amen. Bible says that at the center of water of the world you shall pour the king. I didn't hear you. Amen. Amen. I sat down there and suddenly I saw water coming through my eyes. I experienced water coming through my eyes. <clears throat> God said, as you tell now the scripture, somebody read that God said he knows your work. He knows your commitment. He knows your passion. He knows your selflessness. He knows he can measure the size of your love for him. He knows all of this. And sometimes we wonder, upon all of what I am doing, why are these things happening to me? And water began to come, and God said, tell them, I will restore. If you are the one, shout amen. I see the heart in this room that is bigger than this room. He's just trying to contained within the room that's a big big hand of God and God said I will restore in the precious name of Jesus Christ I, I knew very early when I started ministry in 1978 I know that I know that you can never have a growing church if you're not a groaning pastor. You have to be a groaning pastor. 
to have a growing church. Have to be a growing because there's a lot of pastors here. You can never have a striving, growing church if you are not a groaning pastor. You can never have adult results if you remain baby prayers. Baby prayers cannot produce adult results. Baby prayers cannot produce adult results. Baby prayers cannot produce adult results. You cannot overlook the place of groaning. He said of Jesus that again he groaned in the spirits. Lazarus must be born. Lazarus that is forgotten said once again he groaned in the spirit and he went to the supercar. Man of God, you are always giving out, giving out, giving out. And that is fine. And that's what some of us do too over the years. As I've been a pastor for nearly 40 years. As a pastor, full-time pastor, 40 years. And sometimes we come and we expect and you give. And like someone said, sometimes even when you don't have, you still give. Like a Macedonian church. Out to your great poverty, you are giving on the way. I don't know the night you slept without food, so to say. But God said, I should tell you, your lordship, your time of reward has come. Amen. God is going to raise men that not just to come and receive, but to give back to you. And I volunteer, I recruit myself to be one of them. That those who will come and they are giving you, they are giving not because you don't have, they are giving because many people don't have and you are their channel. Amen. Not because you don't have. After all, it's when they give you that they themselves get, get or keep receiving back. Your time has come. I want to assist you as I want to round up this morning. I came here with a heart to assist somebody. You are doing what's right, but it's very difficult. You are doing what is right. You are on your track and you love the job. You know that you are in the will of God, but it's very, very difficult right now. By the word of my mouth this morning, help is coming your way. I say help is coming your way. God says to tell you, do not leave this land. And that land, I mean your market, I mean your church, I mean your marriage, I mean your calling. Like he told Isaac, do not leave this land. And in that same year, when that word came, come and see blessings. He became the envy of his contemporary. The time for world evangelism church to cover the nations of the earth is now. As I speak to you this morning, more than 50 churches in Nigeria are standing by this commission. More than 50 churches, more than 50 churches are identified with this man of God. Do not leave this land. God is going to strengthen your hands. God is going to make your forehead stronger than that of your enemies. God will exalt you. God will prosper you. God will increase you more and more. If you believe, say amen. amen. If you believe, say amen. amen. So as sisters, I want to give, like I told 
Bishop, yesterday, before yesterday, there are three D's in every life. D, A, B, C, D. Three D's that must be removed this morning. And then your life can flow with ease. One of the D's is diversion. One of the D's that must be that must be removed, must be taken away of your life is diversion. After the full price was was paid for riches, the full price was seven years, according to the custom. The guy served seven years, regular service. Seven years. And everybody knew that the time for rich has come. She was very sure. She was very convinced that the husband is due. The husband is smelling the husband. Only overnight. Only overnight. I don't have the time to tell you how I got to get my wife. I don't have the time. But you know, women don't love me. And I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> 19 women rejected me. Are you not feeling for me? <laughs> 19 of them. I'll go to this one, please. Can you marry me? Say no. I go to this one, please. Allow me. Can you marry me? Say no. I go to this one. I'm not married. Can you marry me? Say no. No, I'll not marry you. The 19th of them was worse. She said she accepted. I went and met this 1984. I went and met my husband, my, 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 my father. We carried the bride price stuff and we went and paid the bride price in full. We did everything. The wedding day was fixed. The cars were printed. The cars were printed. And it was announced everywhere. Assemblies of God Church in, in Nigeria. And on a Friday, we drove and picked her up. She was given to us. Everything was done. The cow was killed and everything was done. We chartered vehicles and moved people Friday night. Saturday morning by nine, she said, I've changed my mind. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. This is what happened to me. There was a diversion. All the price were paid. Expectations were high. Everybody that knew me said, at last, he's going to get married. And then in the morning, Saturday, the church was filled up. The church was filled up. And you are here. You say you changed your mind. Or you have changed your mind. There's a stuff in your mind. You have a change of mind. And not that she was so beautiful like that too. Not like she was so beautiful like that. You are just, you are just doing here. Yeah, what's the problem? Amen. Anybody that God has not ordained for you and have decided to walk away, let them walk. I said let them walk. In their place, somebody ten times better shall come to you. Ten times better shall come to you. She was a village girl. Grass entered her head. For somebody better to come my way. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm going to pray for you against diversions. You have experienced series of diversions. When you pray and pray and pray, you know that the time has come and suddenly it diverts. I come against every spirit of diversion fighting your ministry. Be roasted by fire. Be 
roasted by fire. Every spirit of diversion fighting your destiny. I destroy you with a thunder. I destroy you with a thunder. I destroy you with a thunder. Lift up your hand and shout, Amen. I came to assist you destroy the forces of diversion. Number 2D is delay. So I said delay. Delay. When you know that yes is coming, they have approved it, let it come now, no way. You know, some people have received what is called post-mortem award. This is what was supposed to be given to them to, 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 to appreciate them, to commend them, to prove that the society values their contributions and the thing delays. It is their daughter that received in their state. They have already gone. They have gone. It delayed until by the time eventually reached them, the guy has gone. Every spirit of delay that is silently fighting you and fighting your ministry be roasted in the name of Jesus. I remove every hold up. I remove every hold up. How many of you know that no matter, like in Nigeria now, no matter the hold up, the cars are just, just stopped everywhere. No more, no, no traffic everywhere is just stopped. But if a major general is coming, he will get away to go. That same route, that same line that civilians are struggling to pass. Now here is a major general and the road is clear. I came to you this morning as a major general and I command that every hold up fighting your movement be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Money that is coming receiving now. Favor that is coming receiving now. Promotion that is coming receiving now. That which you prayed for, receive it now. That which you prayed for, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. No more delay. No more delay. And finally, denial. When they say gang up, they refuse to give you. And everybody know that this is your turn, this is your time, this is yours. It is rightfully yours. You are ably qualified. And yet they bluntly refuse. Deny it. Say no. Will not give it to him. But I want to tell you, if God be for us, who can be against us? God sent me to you, and I was so passionate. I was very careful. I don't want to, to, to attract people or just controlling myself. Your time has come. Every sacrifice, every labor that you have done to the brethren, the time for your reward has come. This is your season. A better version of you is about to emerge. A version where there's no more diversions, there's no more deniers. No more deniers. Like you to stand up on the feet. I would like you to say, Lord, I thank you. You have opened a new chapter for me. Because I'm going to say a prayer for two minutes. So, Lord, I thank you for this hour. 
I'd like you to be serious. I'd like you to just mind your chef. Just mind your chef. You sang a song. There is mountain. La 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 la. La la. When your power, you perform miracles. Hey. There Come is on. nothing. Come on. That's impossible. Hey. Come on.
worship the Lord. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the way maker. Amen. He opened a door, no man can close it. Amen. And he shuts a door, no man can open it. Amen. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. My season has come. My my doors are open. My doors are open. The keys of God are with me. The keys of God. I are receive with the keys. The keys. The I keys. Ah, ya Rabba Shanda Haya. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you're here and you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Can you wave your hand? I want to pray for you. If you are here, you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are not born again. Wave your hand. I want to pray for you, please. Anyone? I want to pray for you. You are not born again. You want to give your life to Jesus. Anybody? And those watching us on the Facebook, YouTube, if you are not born again, lift your hands and let's pray together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, if all of you are born again, let's pray with those who are also watching on the Facebook. Pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, surrender my life, I surrender my life and I put my trust in you. I ask for forgiveness. Every sin I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly, I ask for mercy. Heavenly Father, forgive me. Wash me. Cleanse me in Jesus' name. Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I declare with my mouth, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was born of the Virgin Mary. He died on the cross of Calvary. He was buried. And he, and he rose again. I confess this with my mouth. I this with my mouth. And, I it with my and I believe it with my heart. I am born again. I am, born again. I am saved. I am, saved. I, am I am delivered. The power of sin and death, sin and death. Over, my over my life is now broken. Is now broken. I, am I am a new creation. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, if you have prayed that prayer, today is a new day for you. Amen. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Help me and look at somebody and say to them, Congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. Hallelujah. Shut up. My head, my head, all of my head coming from the My head, my head, my
was a prophecy. But here is a prophecy. Somebody stretch your hand and say, I receive my help. Somebody say, my help has come. Say, I receive my help. I receive my breakthrough. Somebody say, every stumbling block on my way is removed today because my help has come. Hallelujah. Go ahead and say, my that we come off the live broadcast. So. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24-7. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho's app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now.